Spending time in Bushwick, spending time with my community and my um, creative family makes me feel really safe. You meet people just being yourself. You can see all these people living their truth. You can just feel the energy radiating when you step outside your house. My name is Yari Jones. I'm 27 from Brooklyn, New York. I'm an artist, that in all its mediums. My name is Timothy Tukes. I am 23 years old. Currently, I work in management consulting as an analyst at a consulting firm. I'm Jordan. I'm 20 years old. I'm a filmmaker, artist. I'm a weirdo, androgynous kid. My name is George M. Johnson. I'm a journalist and an activist. My name is James Yarkse. I live in Bushwick. Anything creative, and performative and queer as fuck, that's what I'm about. My name's Fred Attenborough. I've been in Bushwick for 12 years. Today I worked um, as a freelancer um, doing some post-production and photography. What does safety look like to me? For me, especially as a black trans woman, being able to navigate the world without violence on the streets, without violence in the workplace, I think that's super important. Security, knowing that I have a place to be in my body. But living in Bushwick, I feel like it's the spaces that I feel the most comfortable in are the spaces that recognize injustices going on in the queer community itself. I've, I've always felt safety at home. Are my home. In my bedroom. That's a place where you can rest your head, a place for you to rest and decompress, so that's one. Um, I love queer spaces, queer spaces, especially queer spaces of color. I do enjoy being in black queer spaces. I enjoy being, um, like, when I go to, like, conferences that are centering black queer people, I always feel, you know, safe. Um, the sun being out makes me happy today. Um, being able to feed myself, being able to have clean water, um, access to clean water, um, hot water when I need it, um, waking up in my own bed and waking up here again. You know, I'm, I'm primarily happy when I see, like, when I see, like, our community winning, like, I see like queer people winning, I'm pretty ecstatic. Um, when I stand in my dignity, when I stand in my own honor, when I um, say my name, say my pronouns, when I tell people like, no, this is incorrect. Um, and I, this is about dignity and like honor, that kind of stuff. That's the thing. Joy for me is just being able to have fun with my friends. I like a lot of artistic shooting, more um, focusing on the, the queer people in my community as opposed to um, the kind of work that I get to do to make a lot of money. If you don't fix in here first, like none of that will matter. You'll always be trying to reach further and further and further and your life is passion you by. Moving to art school, that was the first time I had really experienced people being so just like openly themselves and that was the first time I felt like, oh, I can like do this without having to really watch myself. Like I can just kind of be, be Jordan. I love the whole idea of being them in general. When I started to learn my sexuality, I was really attracted to feminine people. I policed my own self for that. And then after transition, when I really embraced my femininity is when I fell back in love with it to the point where now I have a girlfriend. <laughs> femininity in different cultures is like different things. What is considered feminine in here in the United States, in Brooklyn, it may not be feminine um, in other parts of the world. Sometimes I don't even view myself as feminine. I just see myself as like just being me. I think I've always identified more with women. Growing up, anytime we would be in school and they're like, oh, who are your who are your heroes? I would try so hard to think of a man and I couldn't. 
because there was no men that really made me feel like, oh, I could be that, but nothing actually speaking to my um, soul or my existence. I was innately a feminist, but I, I think in growing up that the conditioning was that I was hanging around too many black women. And so I think people thought that I was attracted to femininity when I was innately that. So it wasn't like anything like, it wasn't that I was born quote unquote like masculine, but was attracted to this other thing. I was already a feminine. <laughs> Growing up, I've always um, been in love with the idea of femininity. I guess I would say I love the empathy that femininity has to offer or like the being strong without having to be like verbal or physical about it or just like little things that are just a really nurturing spirit overall that I enjoy over masculinity.